I mean, this is the hardest part about this because a lot of people want to get into conspiracy theories around, oh, it's, you know, it's these bloodlines and it's, you know, it's this versus that and Jesuits and Freemasons. And I don't, I don't go there simply because it's not necessary. From what I can tell, I'm going to paint what I think is the best case scenario. The best case scenario is they really believe this. They believe that we are going to destroy the planet and destroy ourselves and that we have this situation of scarcity and that they truly believe that the only solution out of it is the application of technology to the human condition and that the only way to effectively and efficiently apply technology to the human condition is to have the best scientists and engineers. And of course, it's only the elite that can do this. Now, the problem with this, as you said, this this model doesn't work out very well. I mean, certainly communists have tried this. We had Lyshenko during the Soviet phase and the tens of millions that died of starvation. You had the Great Leap Forward in China. It's not like this approach hasn't been tried before. It's been tried and it's always failed. But even if you give them the best of intentions, here's what the problem is.